Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about an Arduino based uh, Bluetooth controlled car having proportionate steering control. So this is my first project with Arduino and Meccano combined together and I'm pretty happy with the result. So thanks for visiting this channel again. Hopefully you have seen some of my older videos and if you have liked what I present, um, kindly consider subscribing. So let's dive into this project. As you can see, this is a simple model of a car. It has a 9 volt DC motor running at the back and there is a servo which provides the proportionate steering. And the entire thing is controlled through the app which communicates with the Arduino through this uh, HC05 Bluetooth communications module. Now one of the main differences between this project and most of the others which you would watch on YouTube is obviously the proportionate steering. So most of the projects which I have seen employ two motors one each for the rear wheels and there is a caster wheel at the front so there is very little uh, control over the steering however this project has a very realistic uh, steering mechanism built out of Meccano. To begin with let's uh, check out the Arduino board. Um, so Arduino is an open source platform used for building electronic projects. It contains a programmable circuit board and an IDE. So you can use this ID to write a set of instructions and burn, on, uh, burn it onto the board. Now uh, Arduino uses an inbuilt programmer so which means you do not need a separate uh, hardware programmer to burn the code onto the board and uh, I feel that is uh, one of the main factors why Arduino has been so popular in the market today. Uh, the ID uses a simplified version of uh, C++ and uh, it is really simple to use so anyone with a basic background of coding will be able to handle this so as you can see uh, arduino has a set of analog and digital pins okay um, the analog pins can be used to measure analog voltage in the range of 0 to 5 volts so these pins can be used as an input to read sensor data for example a light dependent resistor or thermistors the digital pins can be used as a either an input or output depending on the settings that you have in your code. So they can go from 0 to 5 volts. Also some of the pins uh, like um, pin 3 over here, pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 are PWM pins. So these pins are PWM capable. Uh, and in this project I'll be using pin 10 to send the control signal to the servo. You have your uh, serial communication pins uh, over here. So however in this project I'll be using pins 2 and 3 to uh, communicate with the AC05 module and I'll be using a separate library for that. I will show you the details in, uh, when I go into the code. Now um, over uh, here you have your power pins. So you have your V in, uh, you have your 3.3 volt ground and uh, um, yeah, and 5 volts is also there. So V in can be used to power the Arduino using an external power supply. The external power supply should be in a range of around 6 to 12 volts because uh, it has an, this Arduino board has an onboard regulator. So it will automatically convert your input volt, unregulated input voltage to uh, regulated 5 volt power the onboard circuitry. The 5 volt pin is a regulator power supply so it can be used to power external modules so for AC05 I'm using this 5 volt pin uh, to power it up and the 3.3 volt is again similar to the 5 volt pin and is generated by the onboard regulator. So let's move on to the AC05 module which is a Bluetooth module designed for wireless communication and it def uh, communicates a default baud rate of 9600 bps the default password for this model is 1234 so when you connect to your android uh, smartphone um, you can use this password to connect your uh, connect to the ac05 module now the ac05 um, has an onboard uh, regulator that allows an input voltage of uh, 3.6 to 6 volt um, but the tx and the rx pin uh, will only allow 3.3 voltage so that means I can power the AC05 straight from the Arduino 5 volt outage out pin but for the RX pin the AC, uh, RX pin on AC05 we need to convert this 5 volt data in 
from the Arduino to a 3.3 .3 volt. Uh, if anything above it uh, might damage the module and the quickest way to uh, convert that to 3.3 .3 volt is through a voltage divider circuit so i have used in this project a 1 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohm resistor to split the voltage now there is no need of such a setup for hc05 uh, tx pin because the arduino can handle the 3.3 .3 volt and it will treat that voltage as high so moving on to the lm298n uh, driver board which is the motor driver board for this project basically it's an H bridge driver board uh, which means simply it has a set of four transistors air engine and H formation with two terminals of the DC motor attached to each leg and it's an easy way to control the direction of this motor and added to that you can actually control the speed using one of the PWM pins of the Arduino so these are the inputs uh, to this board so for each motor you will have a set of three pins the first one usually has a jumper connected to it which you need to remove in order to connect it to the PWM digital output pins of the Arduino uh, this pin could be used to control the speed of the motor and uh, the next two connects to the digital pins from the Arduino and it would be used to reverse the polarity of this voltage so in this project I'm not controlling the speed of the car so I'm not removing these jumpers and uh, to power up this module you need to connect uh, the batteries to the 12 volt power pin if you provide power in the range of around 9 to 12 volts you can actually use a 5 volt pin uh, to get power out of the uh, out of this module and you can use it to power your Arduino as well so this is because your uh, motor driver module has an onboard regulator and uh, uh, which which uses a silver input to power the onboard electronics as well as supply 5 volt output so just a note of caution that if there's a need to provide more than 12 volt uh, for your DC motor and you need to take out this jumper otherwise the high voltage uh, would damage the onboard electronics so if you are using more than 12 volts you need to provide a separate 5 volt input into the same pin to power the LM, uh, LM298 onboard circuitry so here's a full circuit diagram for this project uh, there is a link to it on my facebook page also so as you can see i've used two separate voltage sources in this project uh, so one of the 9 volt batteries is used for the dc motor and the servo motor and the other one is used for powering up my arduino via the vn pin and um, i have attached a couple of uh, my 10 microfarad capacitors across the supply because sometimes i've seen that the motor is running when the motor is running um, the voltage seems unstable and Arduino uh, doesn't function properly not sure what the reason is behind this but because the motors are running through a dedicated supply but uh, putting two capacitors in parallel seem to have solved the issue also you would notice that uh, for the input of the RX um, uh, of the C05 module is from a voltage divider so whatever output is being sent through D3 has to be moved through uh, I mean has to be sent through a voltage divider circuit otherwise if you um, provide more than 3.3 .3 volts to the RX pin, you might damage your AC05. So, a uh, couple of things. Uh, okay, and also uh, the servo motor is being run through your D10 uh, Arduino Nano pin, which is a, a PWM pin, and it is used to control the servo angle. Now, a couple of things to be careful about. Obviously, you don't switch up the wires of uh, this servo motor by mistake. It might burn up the motor. Normally, for the ones I'm using, the orange wire is signifies the control pin. The red one is power and uh, ground is uh, brown. And uh, for the motor driver circuit, even uh, don't provide more than 12 volts to this first pin. In case you do, there's an onboard jumper which you need to remove before providing anything more than 12 volts. So for this project, I was pretty okay because I was providing only 9 volts. Go on to the Bluetooth app and uh, the code for this project. So I've created a Bluetooth app using MIT App Inventor. It basically allows you to create uh, uh, Android applications and export your project as a .apk file into your smartphone. Now I will be sharing the .apk file as well as the Arduino code in my Facebook page so request you to please follow my page on Facebook and if you really want to learn the details about uh, MIT App Inventor uh, I have provided a link in my description 
where you can find all the tutorials now for this project uh, all i really needed was a simple bluetooth app having a slider control for the steering and a couple of buttons for forward reverse and the stop so there are bits of code associated with each of these controls for example um, there is a range of values associated with the slider so it provides a minimum value of 0 and maximum value of 200 and these values are transmitted as soon as the slider position is changed same for the buttons as soon as any of them are pressed uh, there is a, a string passed uh, so let me go to the uh, blocks um, so as soon as any button is clicked uh, the buttons uh, sends up uh, sends out an unique message uh, which is unique to each button basically and uh, the message is surrounded by a greater than lesser than sign to signify the start and the end of the message Moving onto the code there are three sections uh, initialization so basically that will uh, that will be used to initialize all your input and output pins to the proper uh, digital high or low there's a loop which will be continuously looking for inputs from the app and thereafter activating the appropriate control now this code uses software serial.h for your serial communication with the ac05 module and servo.h is being used for controlling the servo motor now once all the pins are initialized in the setup section there is an infinite loop which continuously checks whether any data is available in the serial buffer. Now once the complete string is received it activates the correct pins. So based on the message received it can either change the servo angle or it can even change the motor direction or even stop the motor completely. So as I said earlier, I'll be attaching the code in my FB page. So please follow my page for the code. So I hope I've been able to give an overview of this process. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, I will be sharing the .apk file and the code in my FB page. Uh, all links will be in the description. I feel someone with a coding background might feel it easier to do this stuff. However, uh, it is not that hard to learn. So once you spend some time with it, it becomes easier. And also now that this project is a success, I will uh, try to build more models using this HC05 module and I will be sharing here, uh, sh sharing it here um, when I build something. So thanks for viewing this video and if you feel it was helpful, please uh, leave a like, share and subscribe. Thank you.